Welcome to Downshift, my name is Matt. I'm here with the new C43 AMG, and yes, it has a two liter, but there's a lot of really cool and interesting stuff going on here, so today we're hitting all of the coolest and most interesting features of the new C43 AMG. Let's dive in. First thing we're gonna talk about is the engine and how this is a real AMG, and let me show you what I mean. It may not be a V8, but it is hand assembled by one dude, Mansell Reese, in a Falterbach in Germany. It's also longitudinally mounted. It's the two liter turbocharged four cylinder, but that's not even kind of where it ends. This has the EQ Boost 48 volt mild hybrid system, and it has an electric exhaust turbocharger, you know, the same technology that Lewis and George use in their W14s this weekend in uh, Spain. I'm actually going to the Montreal race with Paulo next weekend. And all of that combines to make 402 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. Now you'll note that 369 pound-feet is the same that you get in a BMW M340 with two extra cylinders and an extra liter. And this is more horsepower than you get in that M340. But again, we'll talk about that in the comments a little bit with an asterisk. And then we'll talk about the transmission. This is AMG's nine speed, it's specifically an MCT or multi-clutch transmission. It's not a dual clutch, not just two, it's multi. Uh, and this is one of my favorite things about the car. The AMG nine speeds make the cars feel just so snappy, so athletic and so responsive. And it's, it adds so much drama to the driving experience. And we'll talk about that in our comprehensive review. And weirdly, it doesn't say it anywhere on the outside of the car, but all C43s come with formatic all-wheel drive standard of course they're a rear bias system but all-wheel drive standard another thing c43s come with is amg ride control or adaptive suspension and it really changes the personality of the car between sport plus and comfort again we'll talk about that more in our comprehensive review later on and here's a first for the c43 you get a rear steer module you get 2.5 degrees of rear steer this is a bigger longer heavier car than it was last year and adding that rear steer again makes the car turn in really aggressively and makes it feel a lot more dynamic and then we're going to talk about fuel economy and this is where i ding the car a little bit last year we had a three liter v6 this year we have a two liter uh, uh, turbocharged four cylinder so we've gone down two cylinders and a liter of displacement we make a little bit more power sure but fuel economy stays the same at 22 mpg combined and that's compounded by the fact that the bmw with its b58 and the m340 makes 26 mpg combined with two extra cylinders and another liter so not exactly impressive fuel economy. And now I want to talk about the paint. It looks like normal white paint in the sun here, and I'm sorry that it's not going to come through on camera, but this is a $17.50 charge. This is the Manufacture Moonlight White Metallic. It's got a lot of dimension in it, and I wish it was coming through in camera, but again, stay tuned for our full review where we got the polarizer on. You can see it better. And then, of course, while we're up here, you can see the Power Dome hood, the little gills or spines running down the hood. And it's interesting, when you're in the driving seat, where that crease starts is basically right about your noon marker in the center of the wheel. So it helps you place the car when you're on track. And another AMG staple is the Panamericana grille with the vertical slats. Of course, you get it here as this is a true hand-signed engine, one man, one engine philosophy AMG. And this car is way specked out with not just the Night Package 1, but Night Package 2. So you've got black accenting here in your lower fascia. You've got dark rims. You've got a black side skirt. You have, well, we'll talk about the carbon fiber wing mirrors in a second, but you've got black window treatments all the way around. And on the way back, you've got a blacked out diffuser with blacked out tips, and you have blacked out or dark chrome AMG, Mercedes Star, and C43. It looks awesome in this spec here. And this is something we're starting to see more from the German Trio. This is called Mercedes Digital Light. And basically, it's more than just a swiveling headlight. It's more than just auto high beams, but this will actually project shapes out onto the road in front of you. So when you're driving around at night with navigation, it can help tell you what the speed limit is, where you should turn, and helpful things like that. Pretty awesome. And we'll all be familiar with the front fender badge on Mercedes AMGs, but this is a new one. This one says turbo, and it also says electrified. That's because we have the two liter turbocharged engine with the EQ Boost mild hybrid system and that electric exhaust turbocharger. That's that F1 technology from the W14. Another thing I like are these wheels. These are the upgraded. As standard, you get about 18 inch wheels, I believe, but these are the upgraded 20 inch wheels. They're kind of the more recognizable Mercedes AMG multi-spoke design, but finished in more of a silver brushed aluminum finish. But if you look closely, you can see here, 
you've got a little bit of these venting or curtains and that helps the car be a little bit more aero efficient, a little bit more aero stable, one for fuel economy, but also when you're out on track, this is a really high compression wheel area for the aero coming off the front of the car and down the side. So to have this a little bit more blocked off helps the car be more stable and more predictable. And then we'll talk a little bit about the carbon fiber package, the AMG carbon package that you... Imagine revving out on a tricycle thinking that you're cool. Imagine. Jesus Christ. And then we'll talk about the AMG carbon package, which gets you this more exaggerated and elaborate rear wing. It also gets you carbon plated wing mirrors. Very, very cool. And now we're going to talk about the exhaust. And I know this is a big topic for everyone, going from the V6 or even the V8 and the 63 to now two liter four cylinders all the way through the C lineup for AMG. This has what Mercedes is calling the AMG real sound or performance exhaust, essentially. And it actually sounds pretty good. Have a listen. And this is a smaller thing, but I think the key is just pretty awesome. It's a new design. It says AMG here on the lock button and it says AMG on the back. And then one of my favorite things about all modern Mercedes, and that's the ambient lighting here. Now, like I said, Mercedes is at the pinnacle of ambient lighting. I truly believe that. For colors, you not only have your single colors, you've got like 64 different colors, but you can go into these multicolored. I think my favorite is between Miami Rose and then also Malibu Sunset. And they do a dance. You can't really see it because we're in midday sunlight, but they, they change. They kind of pulse and wave throughout the cabin. It's the coolest thing. Of course you can change brightness and then you can have effects go on like i said if you change the climate you make it warmer it's going to be red in there if you make it cooler it's going to be blue in there it is just the coolest thing and then i want to talk about your digital instrument cluster it's a 12.3 inch screen but you have so much customizability you've got different views you can select different themes which will auto program it to different views and other things and one of my favorites is also the navigation. This is kind of something that Mercedes may have stolen from Audi, but totally can see exactly where you're navigating to, so you don't have to look all the way over here. You can just look down from the road and know exactly where you're going. This car also gets the upgraded Burmester 3D audio, which sounds awesome. And then we have to talk about your center screen. Now, obviously it's big and it's in this carbon fiber basket, and then it kind of melts down into your center console. But it's also running MBUX and the graphics are amazing. Look at your 360 camera. This is some of the best stuff in the game. Where's the augmented reality thing? Here. So when I get into here, I can kind of control, it's gonna lag while it gets ready, but I can totally control Look how fast it is. This is way faster than the Audi. Also, I love the resolution on here, but there's more to talk about here. On the bottom here, you've got shortcuts for your AMG screens and your drive controls, exhaust settings, your home button here. Again, your climate is always on screen. It's always super easy to get into. And then you have this, which is your fingerprint reader for your driver profile. Super cool. Then you can go into your car settings and you can adjust things like your head-up display or your adaptive cruise and everything else. But one of my favorites totally is this AMG screen. So you can see consumption and other boring things. Or you can see your IWC Schaffhausen clock. Or one of my favorite things is live readouts of telemetry and engine data. It's just the coolest thing. If you want to drive hard, you can see exactly how your car is performing in real time. And then we have to talk about the seat controls. Now, normally Mercedes seat controls are on the door. That's not weird. You do have heated as standard and you have cooled as an option because this car is loaded up. So again, thanks to Mercedes-Benz of Milwaukee so I can show all this stuff. But this is pressure sensitive now. Whereas in the past it used to click and move and things could break. Now it's just, you push it a little hard and your seat will move. The other thing I like, and it's a small thing, is this floating armrest. Obviously it connects here and make it nice and stable, but it's a cool design. The whole door card really is a cool design. And then how could we not talk about the steering wheel? I love this AMG steering wheel. It's nice and thick. It doesn't have a noon marker, but it has everything else. Touch controls for your instrument cluster, touch controls for your center screen. You've got slider controls for volume, all of your uh, Distronic and driver assist systems. You've got a little spinny dial to control your drive modes, which again, shows up on your screen over there. And then this is so cool. It's totally customizable. So you can toggle on manual or you know automatic, but then if you push this, you can access different stuff. So traction control, your exhaust volume, you know, anything basically. And then we'll check out the rear seats. We're gonna step in here. Ah, 
I probably should have this open, but I have my own panoramic or my own dedicated sunroof back here and the front gets their own pano. But look at this, I'm 6'1", I'm sitting exactly where I would sit and I have loads of knee room. I've got foot space. Uh, I do have a pretty big hump here in the center, so you're probably not gonna wanna put three adults back here, but you've got climate vents. This looks like a surprise guy, like a robot from Futurama. Uh, you can get a dedicated climate zone here to control things. One thing you can't get is chargers. Just like the GLC, there's no chargers down here and there's no heated seats back here. But you get this cool cup holder thing, which also just has an, a place for a pen. I mean, when's the last time you had a pen on you? In Germany, they must. And then there's the trunk. It is power operated, it is hands-free, but I'm gonna show you how fast it opens here. That is the fastest power opening trunk I've ever seen. And then you have a huge amount of space back here. The seats fold 40, 20, 40, and you've got the little place for your water bottle. Love it. But look at this. This is the most luxurious way to drop a seat from the trunk I've ever seen in a sedan. You also have grocery bag hangers, which is nice. And under the floor here, I'm gonna ruin all my gear. I won't show you, but under the floor, you have additional storage. And look how fast it closes too. That wasn't sped up. And the last thing we'll talk about is price. Now this starts at $59,900, so about 60 grand, which does make it the most expensive. It makes it about seven grand more than the Audi S4 to start, and about $1,000 more than the BMW M340i. But like I said, this thing, these all come with all wheel drive standard. You get a lot of new performance. And to be honest, that interior is worth that extra thousand dollars over the BMWs. So that's it. Those are the 26 most interesting features of the new Mercedes AMG C43. Now stay tuned for our full and comprehensive review coming shortly. Thanks to our friends at Mercedes-Benz of Milwaukee. We'll see you then.